Starting MS Excel The steps to start MS Excel are Click on Start button Click on All Programs Click on Microsoft Office 2013 Click on Excel 2013 Note, click on Start button Type Excel in the text box and press Enter key Note, MS Excel can also be opened using Run window. Press Windows plus R keys, the Run dialog box appears. Type Excel in the box and click on OK button. New Workbook File Selection window appears. It displays the list of different type of new workbooks in the thumbnail view. Click on Blank Workbook Thumbnail option. The Microsoft Excel window appears with a blank workbook. A temporary name, Book 1, is assigned to the workbook. Shortcut To open a new blank workbook, Ctrl plus N. Components of MS Excel window Microsoft Excel consists of the following components. Quick Access Toolbar. It contains commands that are frequently used like Save, Undo, Redo, Print, etc. Title Bar. It displays the name of the workbook and three control buttons, Minimize, Maximize and Close. Ribbon. It contains two parts, eight tabs, File, Home, Insert, Page Layout, Formulas, Data, Review and View. Each tab contains commands in different groups. Cell name box. It displays the name of the active cell or cell reference. The column letter and row number corresponding to the active cell is displayed in the cell name box. Active cell. The selected cell is called the active cell or current cell. It is displayed with bold border that differentiates it from the rest of the cells. The highlighted box is called Cell Pointer. To select a cell, you have to just click on it. Tab or arrow keys on the keyboard can also be used to select the cells on the worksheet. To enter the data in a cell, you first need to select it. Formula Bar. It displays the data and formulas that you entered in an active cell. It can also be used for entering or editing data. Labels and formulas. Rows. These are horizontal line of cells and labeled using numbers that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. Columns. These are vertical line of cells and labeled using letters that is A, B, C, D and so on. Sheet tab. It indicates the name of the worksheet and you can switch between the different sheets by clicking on it. Status bar. It displays information about current selection. That includes total number, count of cells. In the selection, that contains the data, average of the numeric values in the cells and some of the numeric data in the cells, view buttons, zoom slider, etc. Selecting or deselecting cell range. To select a cell, position mouse pointer on the cell that you want to select and click on it. Shortcut. To select a cell, press any required arrow key up, down, left or right. To select an entire column, click on the column heading of the column that you want to select. Shortcut. To select an entire column, Ctrl plus space bar. To select an entire row, click on the row heading of the column that you want to select. Shortcut. To select an entire row, Shift plus space bar. To select a range of cells, for example, you are going to select the cells from B2 to C4. Click on the cell B2. Click and drag the mouse to the cell C4. Release the left mouse button. To select all the cells in a worksheet, click at cross section of the row on column heading. 
shortcut to select all the cells in a worksheet control plus a to select ranges of cells not next to each other select the first range of cells press and hold control key and select the next range of cells shortcut to deselect cells click anywhere in the worksheet shortcut to navigate between the cells in a worksheet function command 1 moves one column right right arrow key 2 moves one column left left arrow key 3 moves one column up up arrow key 4 moves one column down down arrow key 5 moves to the last cell of the current row control plus right arrow key 6 moves to the first cell of the current row control plus left arrow key 7 moves to the last cell of the current column control plus down arrow key 8 moves to the first cell of the current column control plus up arrow key 9 moves to the last cell of the current worksheet control plus down arrow key control plus right arrow key or control plus right arrow key control plus down arrow key 10 moves to the first cell of first row in the worksheet control plus home key 11 moves to the last used cell on a worksheet control plus n key entering data the steps to enter the data in a worksheet are click on d1 cell and type world ranking click on a2 cell and type team press right arrow key and type cricket in b2 cell likewise type football in c2 cell and tennis in d2 cell click on a3 cell and type india and press enter key the cell pointer shifts to cell a4 type bhutan in cell a4 similarly enter the remaining data